All right, we are in chapter nine this morning and it's called Lucky Bunny. And remember yesterday they started the egg hunt and it, first it went crazy and then they had to restart it and everyone had to be very polite, except May kept swooping in and grabbing Sheldon's, the eggs he spots because Sheldon would um, get all excited, but he didn't move quick, but, she, but May did, so she'd get those really fast. So that's what's happening now. I think she has a whole bunch now. Sheldon found three more eggs and May swooped all of them. Every time she swooped, she shouted her head off. Four, four, now I have four, five, five, now I have five, six, six, I just got six. Six was Sheldon's limit, apparently. He stomped to my tree stump and threw his empty basket in the grass. That's it, I'm done. I'm not looking for one more egg for that girl. Let her find her own eggs. I quit, he said. May came chasing after him. No, Sheldon, no, you can't quit, you can't. Come on, we're team, she said. We're, we're team May. Sheldon did a huffy breath at her. No, we're not. We're not team May, he grouched. I'm an egg finder and you're some creepy, swooping bird girl who steals them. May's mouth opened real shocked. I did not steal your eggs, Sheldon Potts. Those eggs were still in the grass when I picked them up. Just because you saw them first didn't make them yours. She said, picking them up is what makes eggs yours. Do you think she's right? Do you think it was uh, she could do that? I, do you think that's fair? Hmm. Think about it a little bit. Sheldon started to yell back, and then he stopped and he looked at me. Shoot, he said. I think she has a valid point there. May smiled real smuggy. Thank you, Sheldon, she said. You're not welcome, he said back. And I'm not looking for any more eggs, May. I'm still quitting. May was not expecting that development. She started to sputter. But, but you have to look for more eggs, Sheldon. You just have to. Just a couple more eggs and I can win this whole thing, she said. Plus, you still haven't found the golden egg for me yet. Just then the Nana walked by and May reached out and grabbed her arm. Tell him, Nana. Tell him he can't quit, she said. Sheldon is on my team, and when you're on a team, you can't quit. It's not fair. The Nana looked puzzled for a second, and then she did a little frown and shook her head. Oh my, no, she said. I'm sorry, dear, but there are no teams on an egg hunt. An egg hunt is an individual competition. May did not like that answer. And she pulled on the Anna's, Nana's arm some more. But, but Sheldon has to help me. He has to, he, the Nana interrupted her. If you don't let go of my arm, I'm going to give you a swat, dear, she said. What does that mean? What's a swat? Yeah, she's going to pop her on the bottom. May quick let go and the Nana smoothed herself and walked on. Sheldon laughed real loud. I like that Nana, he said. I smiled. I like that Nana too, I said. I nudged him with my elbow. Maybe someday she will be your Nana-in-law. Sheldon did a loud hoot. What does that mean? You're right, it means that maybe Lucille and Sheldon would get married, huh? After that, we did a high five and a low five and a medium five, and then I scooted over so he could share my tree stump. Lucille spotted us there. Her whole face lighted up when she saw Sheldon. Shelsey, Shelsey, I've been looking for you. Where's your basket, she asked. Did you find the golden egg yet, huh? Did you, Shelsey, did you? Sheldon's face went funny. Oh, uh, well, my magic egg shirt didn't work out that good. Lucille, he said, I keep finding the eggs, but May kept swooping them. And so now I'm just sort of, well, you know, May buttered her head in. Quitting, she, she hollered. He's quitting, Lucille. Tell him he can't quit. Tell him right now. Lucille raised her eyebrows. You're quitting, Sheldon? Chelsea? Why are you quitting? You have to find the golden egg, remember? If you don't find the golden egg, I will have to swim in, the, in my pool with someone I don't actually care for. She started to get annoyed. 
Think of me, Sheldon. You have to think of me, she said. Don't you know anything about being a boyfriend? Boyfriends do not let their girlfriends swim with people they don't care for. Sheldon didn't answer. Lucille's face got madder. Sweat came on her head and lip. Well, for goodness sake, don't just sit there, Sheldon. Go find that egg, she snapped. Then she wiped her sweat on her expensive dress sleeve and she stomped away. Sheldon watched her go and finally he turned and looked at me. My little lamb did not actually handle that well, he said kind of quiet. He paused for a second. Also, she turned into a sweaty drip ball, he added. <laughs> and just then May stuck her head in between us. Come on, Sheldon, you heard what Lucille told you, she said. You have to find the golden egg. Come on, find it right now. And then she grabbed his arm and tried to pull him up. But Sheldon did not budge himself. He shook her off like she was a bug. I admired his style. After that, both of us sat there until the hunt was almost over. And then we started walking back to the picnic tables. Only too bad for me because I forgot to pick up my hugey big feet and I fell down in the grass again. And that's when it happened. What do you think happened? I think she found the golden one. I saw something gleamy. It was gleaming right in my eyes, I mean. I blinked and looked again. Then I quick tried to cover my mouth with my pop mitt, but the words came rushing out of my lips. The golden egg, the golden egg, I see the golden egg. And May and Sheldon looked down and saw it too. For a second, all of us stood there real frozen. And then, oom, oh, oh, we all dived for it at once. And slap, 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 slap. We piled our hands on top. I got it, I got it, I've got it, we shouted. And then suddenly, all of us got very silent. And we stared and stared at our hand pile. And my heart started to pound, and I stared some more. And then my mouth fell open, and I did a loud gasp because the egg was under my giant paw mitt. That's why. Oh, my gosh, I really do got it, I hollered. And Sheldon frowned. Are you sure, he asked. He wiggled his fingers to locate himself. Shoot, he said, I was hoping that big paw was mine. Turn the page. Oh, this is a good picture. Can you see it? They're all piling on. And look at her little paw mitt right there. Can you see? I looked odd at him. That was a joke, I hope. Well, at least you beat May, I said real happy. Beating May is still good, Sheldon. Then kaboom, May exploded like a firecracker. She yanked her hand off the top of the pile and she slapped it on the ground. He did not beat me, Junie Jones. Sheldon has zero eggs and I have six. How can you say he beat me, you big dumb bunny? She yelled and that's when I exploded too. I am not a dumb bunny, May, I shouted back. I am the celebrity of this whole entire occasion. Plus you didn't even find one single egg on your own. And so I will show you how Sheldon can beat you. I will show you exactly now, in fact, and then, without even thinking about it, I quick slid my paw mitt off of the golden egg and I let Sheldon's hand drop on top. There, ha, see me? Now Sheldon has the golden egg and you don't, and the golden egg is the winner of this whole event, I said. May I May's eyes got big as bowls. Sheldon's eyes got big too, and he grabbed the egg in both hands, and he jumped up like a rocket. May slumped her face in the grass. Then tweet, tweet, tweet. The Nana blew the whistle, and that was that. The egg hunt was over.
Oh, it's still recording. Whoops, I didn't push the button. <laughs> and someone was at the door and I had to run answer it. Bye guys, we'll do chapter 10 tomorrow.